So today we're going to look at Martin Luther King Jr.'s chart using uh, transformational Vedic astrology, using the sidereal, not tropical uh, zodiac, uh, which is much, in my opinion, much more accurate. Uh, so we're going to look, uh, he was born in January 15, 1929, at 11, approximately 11.42, they say around noon, in Atlanta, Georgia. And if you look to the eastern horizon when he was born, you would see the sign of Aries, the first sign of Aries, rising at 14 degrees, uh, 58 minutes. This becomes the most effective point of every house. So any planet like Mercury, that is within five degrees, or Venus, has a, a, a great impact in his chart. Now, in Transformation Vedic Astrology, we look at the Multricona sign. So many planets uh, rule two uh, signs, but we, we look at uh, the Multricona signs, which are one, four, five, six, seven, nine, and 11, to see what a person came here to work on in this lifetime. So we see the first sign of Aries in the first house. And uh, so Mars becomes, is the ruler of Aries, the first sign, and, and the ruler of that first house. So he came here to fulfill his life purpose. And... Um, Mars dealing with uh, dealing with helping other people and being of service to humanity, a leader of humanity. And so the fourth sign of cancer, a ruled by moon, is in the fourth house. And so he came here to have compassion, to nurture other people, to uh, have family, and have happiness through family. You see the sign of Leo, ruled by Sun, in the fifth house. And so in this lifetime, he came to have children and educate others. Um, and the, uh, he was a minister. And then you see the sixth sign of Virgo in the sixth house. Um, you see in Aries chart, uh, all the signs fall in their natural houses. So he came here uh, to deal with uh, creating harmony where there is conflict and to heal the nation from its past sins of slavery. Uh, you see the seventh sign of Libra in the seventh house, uh, ruled by Venus. And so he, he uh, in his um, career as a civil rights leader, he, uh, relationships were very important. Politics was very important. And uh, partnerships. And so in the ninth house, you see the ninth sign, Sagittarius, ruled by Jupiter. So he came here to uh, spiritually uplift and teach others. Then in the eleventh house, you see the eleventh sign uh, of Aquarius, um, leader of humanity, ruled by Saturn, to be in service of others. So those are the main things he came here to work on. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to look at how the planets are operating and then we'll look at when they're operating because not everything happens at once. And then we're going to look at what could have been remedies for his chart. So we see uh, that any planet uh, or any any sign, multicona sign that falls in the 6th, the 8th, or the 12th house um, can be challenging. So we see the 6th sign of Virgo in the, the 6th house. So Virgo is ruled by um, 
Mercury. Mercury becomes functional malefic along with Rahu and K2, which are functional malefic for every chart. So we see that Sun is at two degrees uh, and it is ruling this fifth house of children, education, and investments. And it is placed in the career house. So it says that through his leadership and teaching and educating others, that will be his career. So he was a minister for many years, and then he became a civil rights leader to educate and help heal the nation um, about what was happening. And he, uh, let's see here, yeah. And the uh, son um, gave him great, uh, a good intellect. Now, any planet that is less than five degrees or greater than twenty-five degrees becomes. Uh, weak uh, in, in either in young age or old age 20 and Mars is at 29 so that's old age so they cannot promote or sign uh, or uh, protect their own significations so Sun indicates uh, father leadership organizational skills and it's again in this house of educating others moon is at 26 degrees slightly weak and it is, um, so ruling this house of happiness through home life. And uh, it is placed in this house of income, fulfillment of de desires and friendships. So he gained income through compassion for others, for working with the public, and because it is just slightly weak, it put a strain on his family life. Mars is at 29 degrees, so it's very, very weak. Uh, it is uh, ruling that first house of life purpose, placed in this house of uh, wealth and recognition and continuation of the mar marital bond. And he, so... It gave him life purpose through recognition of being famous for uh, improving the, the, the racial conflict in the, in the United States. Um, some, just a side note, he was an a avid follower, follower of uh, Mahatma Gandhi, and that's how he learned to do civil di disobedience, so, to stand up for the rights and... He was beaten many times and put in jail many times, um, but followed that that uh, teachings of Mahatma Gandhi to uh, win freedom for the the um, um, African Americans. So Mars give, again, like through courage. Now Mars is also courage. It took a lot of courage and courageous speech and action to stand up and um, to, to expose um, to all Americans what kind of um, uh, mistreatment of, of uh, African Americans uh, was. Mercury is at 18 degrees. Now remember we said it can be challenging because it's in this sixth house. So it uh, Mercury, this house is a house of healing, healing uh, the United States from the sins of its, its, of its um, slavery and also conflict. And this is also the house of service. So, you know, he and, and Mercury is, is the, the sign of communication. Through, so through his controversial speech, he helped heal the country. Um, Jupiter is at eight degrees, and that is um, ruling this house of good fortune and uh, spiritual leadership. And uh, again, teaching the country to heal its past sins and um, being of service. It's a place, it's, it's, you know, part of his life purpose, being in that house of life purpose. 
Um, Venus is at 17 degrees and it is ruling uh, the house of partnerships and friendships placed in the house of income and fulfillment of desires. So it was his desire to um, expose the truth about how um, the African Americans were being treated and that through a lot of relationships and partnerships he fulfilled that desire. Saturn is at two degrees. So remember it's weak. It's at only, it's less than five degrees and it is ruling this house of fulfillment of desires and it is placed in this house of teaching. So through, he fulfilled his desires through serving the working class, the the um, the American uh, African American um, society, and uh, and teaching. Now Rahu and K two are at five degrees, so they are placed in this house of um, obstacles and the place the house of. Uh, re wealth and recognition. So um, he had desire, I guess, on a subtle level to be uh, courageous and famous for um, bringing freedom to the African American community and through a spiritual um, speech. Now, uh, let's look at the timing of events. So he became a minister during a sun period. The sun is leadership. Uh, he married during uh, a Mercury period. Uh, and Mercury was transiting this house of relationships. He, uh, his first big march was in, uh, in six, 1963. Uh, uh, during uh, during a a Mars period, which uh, Mars is, you know, very ambitious. It's driven to help people, and then he got a Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, and he also had a extramarital affair. So that was during a moon period. So moon affecting the family and um, also being acknowledged by the public for his courageousness. He gave a very powerful speech for freedom in 1968 during a Mars period. And, uh, and then he was murdered uh, in uh, March 4th in 1968 during a Mercury Rahu period. So Rahu can bring you fame and, and, and drive and ambition and it also can take things away. So let's look at where the planets were when he was uh, murdered. So this is a, a chart that shows the outer circle is where the planets were when he w was murdered and the inner circle is where the planets were, wh what houses they were in transiting when he was born. So we see when then he was uh, killed. Now this is end of life um, and, and liberation, this 12th house. And you can see Mars and Saturn, Saturn indicator for longevity and Mars uh, cutting the life short there. Rahu also transiting this house uh, during that Rahu period, um, you know, bringing a, a calamity to his life. Uh, you can see Mercury and Venus also very close together. Mer Mercury, um, uh, Venus's end of relationship. Uh, Mer Mercury is conflict, um, violence to the body, and then um, Mercury. Uh, so yeah, those are the main things that happened. Now, what could we do to strengthen this chart? So we want to transform K2 and Rahu 
and Mercury. Mercury by um, helping children, and I think he did a lot of that. Um, and uh, inspiring children, he did that. And then helping uh, religious organizations, he definitely did that. Uh, Rahu would be help uh, feeding the birds on and helping those who cannot help themselves. He really did all of that kind of work. Um, but then we also want to strengthen uh, his weaker planets. And remember, we said sun is weak, moon is weak, Mars is weak. So we can strengthen those by wearing a kavash, uh, which is a locket containing the Devata Yantras uh, for those planets. We could also, um, he could be wearing white as much as possible, um, red. Uh, and um, sun colors, wearing a ruby, a moonstone, uh, red coral would be helpful. So those are the main things, and listening some some chanting, some religious, religious singing, uh, which I'm sure he did. Um, but yeah, he was a very courageous man and very much a big part of American history and uh, very revered. And actually, uh, yesterday was uh, the day that he is honored in the U United States, which is um, January, uh, I think it was January 21st. So we have Martin Luther King Day in the United States. So thank you for listening. If you're interested in getting a reading, a transformational Vedic uh, reading, which is very accurate and uh, gives you good remedies to strengthen the, the weak planets in your chart and transform the, the malefics or the challenging planets so that you have smoother sailing in your life. Um, you can go to vastucreations.com under services, under um, astrological readings. Or if you want to learn how to do transformation Vedic astrology, you can go to AmericanInstituteOfVastu.com. Thank you for listening.